This will be an HTML5 tutorial on how to validate your HTML code. I will be using an online validator. Let me uh, jump over to my browser here. Okay, I have my browser open now. This here will be the validator that I will be using. I will leave a link down in the description of this uh, website. This is the W3C Markup Validation Service. It's a very respectable one. That's the one that I normally use. And the way that this works, the very first tab here, Validate by URL. If you use this one, I'm going to click on that one there. What you would do is validate a, uh, a live HTML document. You would paste the URL of the website that you want to validate the HTML with. I don't usually use that, but you could. The second tab is the one that I normally use. I'm going to click on the second tab here, Validate by File Upload. And the way this works, you would click on Choose File to locate the, the uh, file on your computer. I'm going to click on Choose File. Now in the dialog box that opens up, you want to locate your HTML file on your computer. Mine is right here. I'm going to click on it to select it. Then I'm going to go down to the lower right-hand corner of the dialog box, and I'm going to click on Open. Now next, you will click on Check. As you can see, it says this doc document checking is complete. No errors or warnings to show. There's no errors in my HTML document. Now, if I was to, uh, I'm going to rerun this. I'm going to change it. I'm going to place an error in it. I'm going to open up my VS Code here, and only thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to add a second uh, H1 closing tag here, and that will show an error. Now I'm going to go up to File, down to Save. I want to save that with the error. I'm going to go back to my browser here. I'm going to choose that file again. I'm going to click on Choose File. I'm going to reselect the file. I'm going to go down click on Open. Then I'm going to click on Check. Now it says I have an error there. It says uh, error straight in tag. It's an H1 file. It tells me it's on line 11, column 133. And it tells me exactly what it is. It's highlighted here. See, I have back-to-back -back closing H1 tags. I'm going to go back. It says line 11, column 133. I'm going to go back to VS Code here. As you can see right here, line 11. And if you, would, if you were to count these, this would be 133 spaces down. I'm going to erase that second closing H1 tag. I'm going to go back up to File down to save then I'm going to jump back over to my validator here I'm going to re-choose that file I'm going to click on choose file I'm going to select the file again I'm going to go down and click on open and then I will click on check I want to check it again now you can see I, I fixed that error there another way let me back up here Another way, which I don't usually use this third way, but there's another tab up here, Validate by Direct Input. I'm going to click on that one. And the way this one works, I'm going to go back to VS Code. I'm going to copy my entire HTML document here. This is just a little example HTML document. I'm going to right-click, Copy. I'm going to jump back over to the Validator. And I'm going to paste that code in this box here. I'm going to put my mouse cursor in there. I'm going to press Control V. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom here and click on Check. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, document is complete. No errors or warnings. If I was to re-add that uh, error that I made, I made that error down here. I put a, a second H1 tag, closing tag in here. It would notify me. It would highlight it. It would notify me. I don't usually use that one. 
I usually validate by file uploads the way I normally do it. But that is how you validate your HTML using an online validation service. Like I said, I will put a link to this uh, website down in the des description. Thanks for watching.